On the 1st of July 2014, Chris Stubbs, M6 EDF, gave a talk to the Chelmsford Amateur Radio Society on the subject of high altitude balloons. There's no better way to discuss a subject than with a live demonstration, and so Chris launched a high altitude balloon for all to see. Well, hopefully we're going to have a few introductions from, uh, from cars. We'll go outside the museum and launch the balloon. We'll uh, tune in my radio and keep track of it online, and then I'll give a little presentation about what high altitude burning actually is. Then the balloon you've got here, how uh, far or high is this expected to go? Uh, I'm hoping this will float at about five kilometres altitude until the battery runs out in the tracker, which should be uh, just over 24 hours, I'm hoping. Do a countdown from five. Yeah. Right, five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh no, it's changed course. Oh no, it's, it's, it's now got the... Oh, it's got the wind now, hasn't it? Yeah, Well, the little one has gone wide. Look at that. Go on. Go on. No, Above the tree, no. don't hit the tree. <laughs> no, it's going to miss. Good. Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down? I can't see it, I've lost it. Yeah, right in front of the tree. It's in the tree. Oh, no, dear. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no, Come on. Hooray! Almost. That's the closest one yet. What's the altitude, Chris? Uh, just gone up to about 63 metres, so oh, excellent. No, it's climbing quite slowly, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it will float. The payload for this flight was a GPS tracker with a transmitter operating on 434.4 MHz, costing around £60. The helium-filled balloon was launched from Oakland's museum in Chelmsford shortly after 7.45pm. Chris then gave an excellent talk explaining the hobby, from design and construction to launch, tracking and recovery. Chris got into the hobby a couple of years ago after seeing gadget show presenter Jason Bradbury, himself an amateur, trying it out. Catch our interview with Jason Bradbury, 2E0JAB, on the Essex Ham website. Chris, M6 EDF, became an amateur in February 2013 after attending a foundation course run by cars. With the Cars 1 balloon in flight, Chris explained how to track balloons and played the Essex Ham video recorded in 2013 which tracked one of his flights. By the end of the meeting the Cars 1 balloon had crossed the Thames and was over Kent, a little over 4 kilometres up. By midnight Cars 1 was over Sussex, about to cross the English Channel. The last packet received in South End was just before 3am, showing Cars 1 halfway across the English Channel. The final transmission was received by a French tracking station at 6.45am, showing a height of 5.4 kilometres. Voltage from the single 1.5 volt battery had dropped to 0.7 volts, so it's likely the balloon continued to fly for some time, no longer transmitting. The payload does contain Chris's phone number, so hopefully someone in Europe will find it. Thanks to Chris, M6 EDF, for the excellent talk and live demonstration given to cars. Find out more on Chris's website. And for details of how to track balloons, take a look on Essex Ham. This feature was brought to you by Essex Ham, supporting amateur radio in Essex.